Hi guys, this is the finished soaps for the shampoo slash body bars that I'm doing. Um, my mold is a Tupperware Rubbermaid um, container. I've showed it before, but I broke it. I broke it. I, I pushed down on it too hard, I guess, trying to get the soap out because it was super sticky. And um, I broke the mold, so I have to replace it when I'm ready to make new soap. And that won't be for a while, so that's the only blessing. I'm sad. Not really. So this soap, I'm going to let you know, is this is olive oil. That right there. Pure olive oil. Nothing else to it. Not light. Not extra virgin. Just pure, straight up olive oil. Um, it's majorly olive oil. There's more olive oil than anything else. But there is babasu butter in it. And there is coconut oil in it. And this is my shampoo bar. Now I could take this and wash my hair with it right now as is. The only problem to that would be is that it's still kind of wet and so it will probably disintegrate a little bit with the water. But it's drying really, really fast. I can't even really get a, a fingerprint into it. Shampoo bar. This is the basis. Basic. See, my whole thing is to do basic soaps first. Just do basic, plain, unscented soaps first. And then put the additives and stuff in it. So what's going into this soap that's going to make it special for the hair people? I'm going to put goat's milk, calendula flowers, vitamin E oil, flaxseed oil, and tea tree oil into the soap to help aid those with seboric dermatitis. I will have a test person, my friend that asked me to, you know, see if I can help them out. And um we're going to be using that and seeing if it works. So, how am I going to get it into here? I'm going to hand mill it down. This is hand milled. This is all grated soap. You use a cheese grater. And you mill it down. And then you pop it into a Ziploc bag um, and double bag it and put it into a pot of water that is boiling. I'd say about medium. Medium would probably be a good a good one to um to work with. So then it melts down and you put your additives into the bag, you roll it around and then squeeze it into tubes. So that's gonna be for my hair people. Uh, dermatitis. I'm working on another video for you guys. As soon as I get to there. You see this soap ball? In proportion to the palm of my hand, that's you know pretty huge. <laughs> it's pretty big. Somebody had said, um, I think it was Ashley and Lee. She said, Your soap ball is really nice and smooth. It was my lemon, my lemon cream soap that I had made that the soap ball was smooth. I roll these when the the soap is still moist. And what so I don't have to add water to it after that. And um then I roll it real nice and smooth. And my brothers when we used to play um have snowball fights and stuff, we would just <laughs> they would have me roll the snowballs because they always came out pretty much like this. Nice and hard and tight and nice and packed. So I'm pretty good at making no pun intended balls. I'm good at making nicely packed balls of soap nice and smooth so they don't have I know rough edges would be nice but oh well so yeah that's what I'm going to be doing my little project that I think I'm going to do later tonight so I got me some food coloring well not food coloring it's soap coloring and I'm going to I'm going to use this green that's right there in the middle there I'm going to use that to make me some little frogs and turtles for St. Patrick's Day tomorrow so me and Brianna can do that and when school's back in she can take them to her friends or teacher or something and make some little frogs yay isn't that cute those are so cute alright so that's the soap update the soap is made and for the people that kept asking me are you going to make a soap that does not have beef tallow in it this is it this is a all veggie soap Babasu oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. 
Those are the only things that went into this soap. That's going to make a nice shampoo bar. I can tell you right now, those lather, it, it lathers so nicely, so very nicely. It's going to make a nice shampoo bar. And yes, for my hair people, I will be working on a conditioner bar. But you can't make conditioning bars the same way that you make um, soap because soap has lye in it to mix with the oil and that would actually that's what actually makes the soap through saponification in conditioning case it's usually cream bases and stuff blended together with hot water and oils till they get to a nice creamy texture and I have to figure out as soon as I figure out how to mold it then I will make a conditioning bar to back up the shampoo bar alright guys later